All right, guys, check it out. We were able to come into some new football outsiders content and who that nation. Shout out one time. Kenny Stills came through. Got a new card. 90 overall wide receiver. 95 speed. 93 catch in traffic. 95 catch. And I think his excel is like a 95 too. So as long as Kenny can at least get off the line, this card might be too deep. I was a little shocked, man. I honestly thought that no Saints receiver, you know, honestly performed too crazy. I don't know what DVOA means. Hopefully, it means something good. So with that being said, guys, we move on to Levante David. Now, the NFC South rivalry is real. Almost didn't want to review this card. Levante has 93 speed, 98 play rack. He is a linebacker with 95 zone cut. I am dumbfounded right now. A linebacker, man, with 95 zone coverage, 99 pursuit, 99 tackle, and 90 block shit. Now, I run a 3-4 defense. You guys know that. I actually think I would pick this now. The 66 catching. Yeah, that's like one of the knocks on the card. And 66, it's not terrible, but it's not amazing. And 91 jump, uh, just a beast of a card. Like I was saying, guys, I run a 3-4, and I honestly think I could play this card in a 3-4 and have him be effective because you guys know occasionally i like to drop my pass rushers back into coverage you know bluff a little bit on to the man the myth the legend joe flacco 91 overall 77 speed 98 throw power is the reason you're getting this card or you're a ravens fan or maybe it's just a great budget card but the 98 throw power definitely does stand out if you like to throw the ball deep just be a little aware of that accuracy. So we move on to one of my favorite halfbacks in the game right now, man. CJ Anderson, a spectacular story. Nobody really saw CJ starting coming into the year, man. I loved his talent, but it just seemed like he was buried on, on the depth chart. I mean, people had Monty Ball penciled in for a spectacular year. Uh, they thought that Ronnie Hillman would be the guy. I mean, CJ Anderson was inactive a game or two. And then he just burst onto the scene, man. Just tore things up. And let's check out his pass catching attributes. You got to be a pretty decent receiver to play at a Peyton Manning offense. So here we go, man. Scrolling down, looking for this. And wow, I was kind of shocked that his like pass blocking attributes weren't too crazy. But I really don't know how good he is in that aspect of the game. And you guys see 70 route running, 78 catching traffic. And also a 72 spectacular catch. Not the craziest stat, but you know, just good enough. He does get the job done. All right, here we go, guys. 24 hour hero Levante David. May we finally get a 24 hour pull? Are they still going to be doing football outsiders after this? As I start off, man, pack is looking mad weak. I get a Raiders away. Chip Kelly couldn't expect anything out of there. I got my gold card early. Absolutely hate when that happens. Gillette Stadium. Joe McKnight. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, look at this though. We get Akeem Ayers and wow. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out Ayers. He has an 81 speed, 76 strength, 88 excel. We're just going to move on. So I get a Phillip Hunt and oh man, I got my gold card so early. Last year, didn't they do final edition? Wouldn't it be cool like if they did cards like football outsiders like sack leaders or top quarterback pressures you know something like that or is that what they did with final edition i can't remember so i get a james white and let's see what we get man a gold card oh man desmond bryant so not exactly the right des and hopefully we can still come out of this pack as we get the buccaneer stadium here we go oh nick Foles. why would they do that to me my very last card frank summers oh Jermaine Curse. He will be playing in the Super Bowl. Let's see what we get. A black. Why do they keep giving me the black? But look at this. I also get another Super Bowl collectible. So it looks like I'm going to go ahead and do one more pack. All right, we're just going to fly through this pack. And wow, Zach Ertz. That is really what we ended up with. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video, man. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy the content. I'm D Coop. I'm out. I upgraded my Byron Maxwell to the new one. I mean, the guy has 95 plus zone. I had to do it. I, I'd rather him be in the right spot than worry about that catching. So this guy has LeGarrette Blunt.